डियर स्टूडेंट्स फिजिक्स प्रैक्टिकल दी इस क्लास विच आज फिर ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੋ ਐਕਸਪੈਰੀਮੈਂਟਸ ਸਿੱਖਣੇ ਹਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਟੂ ਵੈਰੀਫਾਈ ਨਿਊਟਨਸ ਲਾ ਆਫ ਕੂਲਿੰਗ ਦ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਬੋਇਲਸ ਲਾ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਕੰਸੀਡਰ ਦ ਨਿਊਟਨਸ ਲਾ ਆਫ ਕੂਲਿੰਗ ਫਰਸਟ ਨਿਊਟਨਸ ਲਾ ਆਫ ਕੂਲਿੰਗ states that the rate of change of the temperature of an object is proportional to the difference between its own temperature and the ambient temperature or the temperature of its surroundings newton's law of cooling actually makes a statement about an instantaneous rate of change of the temperature ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਨਰਲੀ ਇਹ ਆਬਜ਼ਰਵ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਇੱਕ ਬੋਇਲਡ ਮਿਲਕ ਦਾ ਕੱਪ ਜਾਂ ਬੋਇਲਡ ਟੀ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਕੱਪ ਟੇਬਲ ਤੇ ਰੱਖ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਜਲਦੀ ਆਪਣੇ origignal temperature ਨਾਲੋਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਠੰਡਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਨ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਹੈਂਡ ਜੇ ਮਿਲਕ ਕਟ ਟੈਂਪਰੇਚਰ ਤੇ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਬੜੀ ਦੇਰ ਤੱਕ ਕੋਸਾ ਹੀ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ a newton's law of cooling the ek general observation hai chalo aaj assi is law nu experimentally study karde ha ate verify karna sikhange the aim of the experiment is to study the relationship between the temperature of a hot body and time by plotting a cooling curve the apparatus that we need to perform the experiment is a stopwatch a clamp a stand two thermometers and newton's law of cooling apparatus which is a double walled enclosure with a calorimeter a stirrer and a wooden lid we also need a beaker filled with water it will be good to have an understanding of the theory behind the experiment before we perform it according to the law in question the rate of cooling is directly proportional to the difference of temperature of body and the surrounding well the condition is only for small temperature differences for this experiment let some water of a fixed mass be kept in a calorimeter inside a double walled enclosure let the thermometer t1 be fitted to note the temperature of the surrounding of the calorimeter while the thermometer t2 be fitted to note the temperature of the water in the calorimeter let the temperature of the surrounding of the calorimeter be theta whereas the temperature of its surroundings be theta 0 then mathematically we can say that for a body of mass m specific heat s and temperature theta kept in surrounding of temperature theta 0 rate of cooling dq by dt is equal to m into s into d theta by dt according to the newton's law of cooling d theta by dt is directly proportional to m into s into theta minus theta 0 since the mass m and specific heat s for a given body are constants 
who we can write d theta by dt proportional to theta minus theta 0. As time increases, the difference theta minus theta 0 decreases and hence the rate of fall of temperature d theta by dt also decreases. Ao hon tuanu is experiment de procedure naal janu karvaiye. Is experiment ka procedure is tarah hai. Sab to pehla laboratory table de utte enclosure diyan double walls which karli thano pani naal bhar lende ha. Fer kise duje beaker vich approximately 80 degrees celsius tak garam kita hoya pani lao ate calorie meter da takriban 2 tihai hissa es garam pani naal bharo hun enclosure de andar calorie meter ate stirrer suspend karo is no is the wooden lid naal cover karo jis vich ek chhek कीता होंदा है, नाल ही एक क्लैम एंड स्टैंड दी मदद नाल, एक थर्मोमीटर एनक्लोजर वाटर, अते दूजा कैलोरी मीटर वाटर विच सस्पेंड करो, हाँ स्टॉप वॉच दा जीरो सेट करना, अते इस दा लीस्ट काउंट नोट करना ना पुल जाना होन बिल्कुल ऐसे इंस्टेंट ते एनक्लोजर विचले पानी दा टेम्परेचर नोट करो। नाउ स्टर द वाटर इन कैलोरी मीटर सो दैट इट मे कूल यूनिफॉर्मली। जस्ट व्हेन द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द कैलोरी मीटर वाटर इज एट सम कन्वीनिएंट रीडिंग से 70 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Celsius, etc. Note it down and start the stopwatch immediately. The temperature of water in the closure should be noted after every 5 minutes. When the falling of temperature of calorimeter water becomes slow, it may be noted after every two minutes. The stirring must be done continuously and the temperature must be noted after every one minute. You will find that the temperature falls rapidly in the beginning. Gradually, the rate of fall of temperature decreases. You may stop taking the readings when you find that the rate of fall of temperature becomes very slow. We will take these observations. Least count of stopwatch in seconds. Least count of both thermometers in degrees Celsius, temperature of water in enclosure theta 0 is equal to 25 degrees Celsius and measure the temperature of calorimeter water for every minute and record it. As such, we do not have to do any calculations. We only plot a graph between time small t and temperature theta. We will now have to plot the graph and conclude the result of this experiment before we start our learning of the next experiment. For plotting the graph, the time t is taken along x-axis and the temperature theta along y-axis. 
Of course, an appropriate scale is to be chosen before marking the two axes. The graph comes as shown here. It is commonly called as the cooling curve of the liquid. Now, the expected result is that the temperature falls quickly in the beginning and then slowly as difference of temperature goes on decreasing. Then, the precautions that we are expected to follow here are the double walled enclosure should be used to maintain the surrounding at a constant temperature and stirring should remain continuous for uniform cooling. The most probable source of error is that the temperature of the surrounding may change. Students, having learnt to do the experimental verification of the Newton's law of cooling, we are now supposed to start with our next experiment, verification of the Boyle's law for today. This experiment is related to the kinetic theory of gases. With the help of kinetic theory of gases, it has been found that if the temperature of the given mass of a gas is kept constant, its volume is inversely proportional to its pressure. Which is the Boyle's law? It can also be said as keeping the temperature constant. When we increase the pressure of the gas, the number of collisions per unit area increases and its volume decreases. Today, we have to verify this fact experimentally. In simple words, I can say, we will verify the Boyle's law experimentally. The objective for the second experiment for today is to study the variation in volume with pressure for a sample of air at constant temperature by plotting graphs between pressure and volume as well as between pressure and reciprocal of volume. All the apparatus that we will require is the Boyle's Law apparatus, a Fortin's barometer, a pair of set squares, a thermometer and a plumb line. Before we actually start with the experiment, let me update you with some background theory of this experiment. Since the statement of the Boyle's law says that the pressure P of an enclosed gas for a given mass of the gas is proportional to its volume V, provided that the temperature of the gas remains constant. Thus, for an enclosed gas at constant temperature capital T, P is directly proportional to 1 by V. Or, a simple outcome of this equation is that P into V is a constant. First of all, to be able to take the required and appropriate readings, we will have to understand how to read the Boyle's Law apparatus. So first, have a careful look at this diagram of the apparatus used to verify the Boyle's Law. The tube A becomes non-uniform near its top. This invites the need for a correction to be applied to get the correct length of the air column. Let's see how to apply this correction. Volume of curved portion is equal to volume of a hemisphere of radius r, which is equal to half into 4 by 3 pi r cube. The portion pqrs is a part of the cylinder. 
the volume of this cylindrical portion is equal to pi r square h which is equal to pi r square into r or equal to pi r cube. Now the error in volume is equal to pi r cube minus 2 by 3 of pi r cube equal to 1 by 3 into pi r cube upon pi r square which in turn is again equal to r by 3. Then the error in length giving us the correction in length as equal to minus r by 3. The reading of closed end p and the reading at points r and q that is where the curvature ends are noted with the help of a pair of set squares to avoid any errors in case. The difference pq of these two readings is calculated. Then correction in length is equal to minus 1 by 3 pq. Thus the corrected reading of the closed end of tube A is equal to reading at P minus 1 by 3 PQ. Come, let me also tell you how to do this experiment. That is, let me help you out with the procedure of this experiment. To start with, note and record the barometer reading and the room temperature in the beginning of the experiment. Set the Boyle's law apparatus vertical using a plumb line and adjusting the leveling screws as shown in this diagram. Note that the open end of tube B can move freely along the vertical. Set the open end tube B so that level of mercury in tube B is at the same level as in the closed tube A. Then record the reading of the upper end P of the closed tube on the scale. With the help of the set square as shown here. Now take the reading where the curved portion of the closed tube A starts. You are also supposed to take the reading of the convex meniscus of mercury in the closed tube on the scale. Thereafter raise the open tube B by 10 cm. The level of mercury in the tube B will be higher than in the tube A. Note the readings of upper meniscus in both the tubes. The difference in readings that is H is to be taken as positive. The same procedure is to be repeated for at least Two more observations by changing the position of B when level of mercury in tube B is higher than in tube A. Next, lower the open end tube B by 10 cm such that the level of mercury in this tube B is lower then the level in tube A. Note down the readings for level of mercury in both of the tubes. The difference of these readings that is H is now taken as negative. Take two more similar readings by changing the position of tube B. When the level of mercury in tube B may be lower than that in tube A. Finally, observe and record the room temperature and 
the photons barometer reading at the end of the experiment. You are now in a position to draw a graph between p along x axis and 1 by v along y axis. Well, this is to be done by selecting an appropriate scale. The graph will appear somewhat like this. Let me also narrate the observations that you will need to take and record in your practical notebooks. Room temperature in the beginning of the experiment in degrees Celsius. Then note the vernier constant of the barometer scale in centimeter. Also take the barometer reading P1 in the beginning and the barometer reading P2 at the end also in centimeter. Hence the mean atmospheric pressure Pa is equal to P1 plus P2 upon 2 equal to Pa in centimeter. Finally, take the reading at the top end P of the closed tube x in centimeter and the reading at point Q where the curvature ends y also in centimeter. Now find out the difference x minus y also in centimeter and hence the correction to be applied which is 1 by 3 into the difference of x and y. Therefore, the correct reading of the top end is equal to x minus 1 by 3 into the difference of x and y. Let this be equal to a centimeter. Now, say the reading of the level in the closed tube is equal to b centimeter. We are also to take down the reading for the room temperature at the end of the experiment in degrees Celsius. We are now at the stage of plotting the graphs and drawing conclusions. First of all, we plot a graph between pressure and volume by taking pressure P along x axis and volume V along y axis. As you can see here, the graph should be seen in the shape of a hyperbola as here. Second, plot a graph between P and 1 by V by taking P along x axis and 1 by V along y axis as it is visible here. This graph is a straight line. And now let us see what is the result. You must agree with me that from both the graphs the conclusion is the same. That is P is proportional to 1 by V. This also confirms that PV is equal to a constant. Hence, the Boyle's law is verified. Before we end up with this experiment as well, there are a good number of precautions that we should be taking care of while performing it. Let me list. Please note them carefully. Mercury should not stick to the sides of the tube. The apparatus should be kept in vertical position. The reading of the mercury level should always be taken at the upper meniscus. The reading of the pressure and temperature should be taken both before and after the experiment. End correction must always be applied. Take the readings for both the positive and the negative heads of pressure. Readings should be taken with the help of set squares. 
the most common sources of error are the closed tube may not have a uniform cross section throughout temperature may not remain the same throughout the experiment the atmospheric pressure may not remain constant throughout the experiment dear students now it is the turn to introduce you to some relevant questions that may be asked in viva i'll first relate my questions to the verification of the newton's law of cooling my first question is for the verification of newton's law of cooling what if we plot a graph between time t and temperature difference theta minus theta 0 the answer is the result of plotting such a graph will be a straight line look at the next question can newton's law of cooling be applied to gases also the answer says no it holds good only for liquids the next question is define a radiation as a mode of heat transmission the answer is the radiation is the mode of transmission of heat from a hot body to a cold body or surroundings without requiring an intervening medium and now let me put some questions related to the verification of the boyle's law as well The first question relevant to this experiment is what do you mean by atmospheric pressure The answer is there is a thick envelope of air around the earth which extends up to large distances The weight of this huge amount of air exerts pressure The force exerted per unit area by the atmospheric air is called the atmospheric pressure the next question is why is it recommended to use dry air for the experimental verification of boyle's law the answer is if the gas used for this experiment contains moisture it may condense during compression and the result may have an error in it another question is why is the tube in boyle's law apparatus filled with mercury the answer is it is because the pressure difference p is in terms of mercury levels in the tube a and tube b this difference added algebraically to atmospheric pressure gives the pressure of air in tube a directly in centimeter of mercury look at this question why is there a pressure difference between the two sides of a curved liquid surface the answer is a curved free liquid surface has more area it tends to become flat to minimize the surface area due to surface tension thus the pressure is not the same above and below the liquid surface mainu ummeed hai ki tusi aaj sikhaye gaye dove experiments da पूरा पूरा लाभ लैन के नाल नाल इना एंजॉय भी किया होना है अगली क्लास में होर नवे टॉपिक के नाल फिर मिलेंगे धन्यवाद